Okay. Hello again everybody. Today I'm going to be running Antutu benchmark test on the Elephone P9000 and a few other tests that um, Antutu benchmark has within the software. So let's get cracking. Okay, let's run the test then. There we go. Okay, 46,928. Cool. So if we have a look at the ranking, okay, where does it come on there then? 25th. I honestly thought it'd be higher than that, so it just beats the, the Mizu M3. So iPhone 5S is a bit of performance. Leco Max 2 is the top. I think that's Letvi, isn't it? Letvi used to used to be called Letvi. Okay. I thought it'd be more than that to be honest. This is just all the information just to um Megapixel camera 13.3, so it's slightly more, just to prove that it's 4 gig of RAM, although it says 3,883, 3, there or thereabouts, system storage, the core information, the core, zero core one, okay. Okay, yeah. Point three battery level. Do, 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 do. Right. 
Let's go and do a few more tests. So stress test will do last. Um, screen test. There's the LCD test. Does tests for uh, dead pixels. You just tap it. And again, testing is completed. If, easy enough for that one. Grayscale test. Tap. Yeah. All well, seems uh, a bit pointless, but. Colour bar test. Testing colour brightness, tones and colour saturation. Oh, that's quite bright. That is bright. Okay, multi-touch test. I did this test on the uh, on the Shark 1 a while ago and I think the maximum you could touch at the same time is three and move around at the same time. So one, move around, touch two, move around. I'm gonna do this three touch, still move around. Four touch and still move around. Uh, I'm gonna do a fifth. Can you see that? Oh five touches five touches so it's multi-touch definitely six uh, about no it's five so five multi-touch not that you can why well, you need that but yeah multi-touch works fine there and what we'll do now we'll go straight on to the stress test Stress test use a long time high loading computations to test the performance, stability, and battery life, etc. So this takes about 15 minutes, so I think I'll just leave it there and then come back in about 15 minutes' time to see how we've got on. One minute left to go. It was a little bit warm, but not as warm as um, all the phones I've had in the past. This is a long one minute. This is the longest minute I've ever known. Well, it said one minute left, so. That don't make sense. <laughs> Come on, you beautiful looking phone. Still Still going. That one minute has been about 12 minutes. I'm hoping it's not crashed or got stuck at all. Testing, please wait. I don't want to press stop. Mm. 
stay a bit more, a bit longer then. So the um, stress test finally finished, uh, but I had to uh, start it again because it crashed earlier. So I'll screenshot these and put them on on the video in a moment, so you can take a closer look at it. Um, but it starts off with CPU performance there and then you've got the time at the bottom the time and uh, performance in percentage you've got total CPU load it shows the information there CPU cores load um, that's obviously how many cores and what, what percentage they are running then goes into CPU cores frequency there um, and then battery level, when I started it was at 19% and it stayed at 19% for the whole 15 minutes. Um, but that doesn't sound right to me to be honest because it's still 19% now. Um, and then battery temperature shows you there. And battery voltage as well. So doesn't mean much to me to be honest but so, you know you might understand it a bit more than me out there but it's quite interesting so I'll screenshot it and uh, show you the results at the uh, at the end of the video so you can take a closer look at them yourself and um, so that's that so I've got 19% battery left and that's the Antutu test finished for that what I am interested in uh, no, I'm going to restart the phone quickly just to see if it stays at 19 uh, 19% you can see it it's hard to make out on here but I'll restart it anyway you do get them little bugs sometimes in phones where you restart it and you lose 5 or 8% battery for some reason Oh, no, it's still 19%. Okay, that's good then. Oh. Yeah, still 19%, so... Okay. Right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope the uh, the Antutu benchmark test and stress test uh, was any good to you. Um, please like my video and uh, please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.